Hi everyone, now this rough looking CDC fly is what I'm going to be tying. Now basically what it is, uh, it's an F fly if you want to call it. One of the traditional uh, sort of ways of flies that are raised to use CDC is to tie it this way. And uh, in this one here, I tie this just to represent uh, what they call the needle fly. Now, uh, you'll basically see it in the thumbnail uh, at the beginning, the actual fly this represents, but it, it also gives, it represents quite a few things. It could be a wee sedge, a wee caddis type fly. Uh, it's, the method I'm using is very simple. Uh, it's easy to tie and uh, it fishes really well. Uh, a wee story behind the fly the other day, I was tying a few, uh, I was tying them from a box, because uh, I use these flies when Things can be quite quiet when the fish are feeding or you can't see what they're feeding on. And you cast a fly like this, like this here to them and easily they come up and take it. So these flies are certainly worth having in your box. Uh, it's a suggestive type pattern, but it, it does represent a small stone fly called the needle fly. And uh, that's how originally I tied it for. But it can fish. Now you want to tie it different sizes. This is a, I think this one's a, a tie size 16. You want 16s, 18s, even smaller. Uh, you just have to work with the materials to suit uh, and reduce them. Now, this is uh, CDC I personally dyed myself. This is was domestic duck. Uh, and I dyed it, believe it or not, I dyed it cinnamon, a wee touch of cinnamon, uh, Wenger's dye, and then I added a wee touch of black. And this is the colour you get. Uh, it looks very natural light looking, but I basically dyed it for uh, flies like this, but as a wing for lots of wings. I, I dyed a CDC to suit myself. So it's, it's a good pattern, and uh, so I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's, it's, a, it's an easy enough dye, tied fly. Now, as I say, that's a, that's a size eight, uh, 16, sorry. So you want to tie them that size and smaller and or you can go much bigger depending on the flies that you're trying to represent now hook this is it I'll get the right one, sorry this is a fully mill hook, it's the ultimate dry in black nickel uh, it goes with the fly as well as I say it's a size 16 using a black thread, you could use a grey or even a white thread because on the hook it, it just the white thread just darkens down but anyway, start of the eye, let me just put a nice layer of thread down there, it's well waxed, so there's plenty of grip. So if you touch more, and then I'm going to get a feather that's going to basically form a, like a support at the back and the body. Now I'm going to show you this CDC that I've dyed, just to give you a better idea of what it looks like. So if you look at the, the CDC, now this was a domestic duck, it was white. Now you can see the cinnamon in the actual uh, the stem. I was trying to get it natural looking when I was dyeing this. And then I added a wee touch of black, which gave it the grey colour. And that's how I got this, this CDC. Uh, it's, it's, I love messing about like dyeing when it comes to stuff like this. And uh, this is one of the successful colours that I got, that I liked. Now, tail length, now I'm just going to get another one here. Just get, these domestic duck, you don't, there's not the best CDC in the world. You probably end up having to use a wee touch more than if it was natural. Natural's got a bit more uh, material, natural fibre on it. It's, got, it's actually far, far better, so. I'm just looking through this. These feathers. I should have maybe brought out some more because I've been using them up. So anyway, just the tip. So there's it's there. That's usually the tip of the CDC. So just pull it together like this. Get the length you want. Just catch it on. Now I do a couple of turns. Nice and tight. Come underneath pull towards the eye and then do another turn on top, that locks it in, always keeping the thread tight then come up the body, pull, and pull back the CDC out of the way, two thirds of the way up, leave enough for your thorax, 
Then we wind up our, our body, uh, our CDC for our body. It's quite simple. It makes for a great body. We get to this point, we catch it in. Nice and tight, make sure this is secure. Trim away. Now keep this for dubbing. Don't throw that away. So I'm just going to tidy this. And then I'm going to put the wing on. Now, depending on how good the feathers are, if you're looking 2 to 3, even 4 if you want. But uh, with this fly, I like probably 3 in this size. Smaller sizes, you only know, a couple will do it. So I'll let them down here. Sorry, I'm just collecting up. I've got three feathers laid on top of one another. We've got a natural, this is be the front of the feather. It's got a natural curve. So basically what you do is you just draw it in, make sure the tips are lined up. It's going to roll it a wee bit. You want this to come to the end towards the back of the tail, to the end of the tail. Hold it. Pinch on top, two or three turns, see how it's sitting, if you're not happy you can always go back, if you're not happy, guess what, going back, just, all I'm going to do here is just take this top feather up a wee bit further, there we are, I mean this is a rough fly, you just tie it on usually, uh, it works, so, and then trim away once you're halfway the position of the wing. Just make sure this is secure. Then bring your thread back up to the wing. What you want to do then is spin the bobbin anti clockwise. This will flatten the thread. Then get your dubbing needle. Once you see it's going flat, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see how, how flat the thread is. Now this is his uni thread. Now what I then do is I wax, put wax on the thread. Probably always wonder what that says. This is a lump of wax on the side of my finger. And that basically keeps the wax warm and there to be used when I need it. Get your dubbing needle and then just split the thread. I mean the put your finger beside it. Sorry, the the uni thread itself is actually quite strong. Now, what you can do is obviously you remove the CDC off the feathers you use for the wing. I've already did that so it's ready, there it's there. So I take some, offer it between the thread, quite rough like, slide it up. You don't need a huge amount, just to give the impression of the legs and the thorax. And then you want to spin your bobbin clockwise to tighten the thread back up. And there we are. And then what you want to do is wind it like a hackle. So what you do is do a turn and then stroke back lightly with your fingers, working your way down the thorax. Just keep going. You want it nice and light. There's your head. And then the varnish. What I do is I just put some varnish on the thread. And then what finish. And there we are. And that's the needle fly, or the CDC needle fly anyway. It's a simple dressing that works extremely well and uh, it catches, catches lots of fish for me. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is just pull out the fibre a wee bit. You could trim underneath, but the CDC is really soft. When you cast this, it will spread the fibre. gives a great imprint on the water. I'll just lift it up so you can see. And uh, there we are. And that's basically, that's as close to the original F-Fly. And uh, I think as far as I know that the F-Fly was to represent the needle. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, that's the way I tie it. You can take out the odd long fibre if it's too long. Just break it off. And uh, there we go. So see, it is quite simple to tie, but you'd be surprised how well that fish is both in rivers and locks you'll catch with this fly. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that and again thanks for watching.